Hello, I'm Alex McLaren. I'm Associate Professor at Heriot Watt University in Edinburgh, and I'm leading the team of students, Team Esteem, in their entry to the Solar Decathlon Middle East Housing Competition. I'm an architect, and I wanted to give all of you entering the class of your own Esteem Pavilion competition a couple of tips about how I might approach this brief. My first tip as a university academic is not to forget what has gone before. Look for examples, we would call them precedent studies or case studies. Look for examples of what has gone before and how these have been designed. So you know your site is in a desert. Look at some exciting desert architecture. Now that could be modern, but you could also learn from the past. You know that your pavilion needs to be about the way we live. Look at the exciting new ways that we're living in the world. Think about the way that we operate our housing, our transport, how we eat, how we deal with our waste. Find these examples and collect them somewhere and study them. And even though some of those studies might not make it into your final submission, you're going to learn a lot just from looking at those examples. My second tip is to think about planning the pavilion space. A pavilion can be a very loose concept, but yours needs to be very, very focused on what it is you want it to do. So who do you see coming into this pavilion? Can they enter from all sides? When they come in, what will they see and what will they do? A good way to start making these plans is to do a bubble diagram. So think of the different activities that you'd like to have within the pavilion, and then think about the links between these activities. Finally, as part of that bu bubble diagram, I'd like to remind you that not every activity needs a separate room. There can be really exciting ways of changing the quality of a space without putting up walls in between them. You could think about different wall colours or floor colours or a carpet on the floor perhaps, different lighting scheme. Uh, maybe there could be some glazed partitions, some glass or windows between different spaces. So there are many ways of thinking about having different spaces within a pavilion without putting up some windows and doors. And a really nice way of beginning to plan that and think about these things is to draw a good double bubble diagram. There's my two top tips. Learn from the past and think carefully about your planning. We're so excited to see the entries that you come up with. Thank you so much for entering the competition and good luck.